IGA Meals and Minutes with Courtney Wise. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and to help recognize that, Brandy from Sunrise Children's Services is with Courtney in the IGA kitchen today. Hello, Laura. That's right. We have a really healthy, uh, really good, pretty recipe. Brandy Felser is here, and she is the Chief Development Officer for Sunrise Children's Services. But you can see on her jacket, it says chef. So you could almost call her the chef development officer, right? That's what everyone kind of in your building calls you because you love to cook. I do. I love to cook, and it kind of is a big joke around the office um, that I am the chef of the office. Actually, that's what I say at least. <laughs> I love it that you have given yourself that title and you can come on the show anytime and teach us how to cook. I love it. Well, you do have a salmon orzo salad, right? And you say you make this all the time and it's good for even like if you make salmon for dinner, then you could just whip this up for lunch the next day, right? Absolutely. It's a really light, very quick recipe to make. Not a lot of ingredients as you can see. Yeah. So it's very simple. It takes full 20 minutes to make at, at best. Okay. So it's really simple to do. Well, what is the first thing that we need to do? The first thing that we should do, um, the salmon takes about 10 minutes in the broiler. Okay. So we can go ahead and season up our salmon. Okay. And, get, and You're gonna make give it the brother. Yeah. But also, I should mention right now we have, because this also takes about 10 minutes, yeah. we also have our orzo pasta, which is a half a cup of uncooked pasta. I think this is so pretty. Once it cooks up, you know, it kind of gets um, bigger. Yeah. It, it makes it expands yeah. a little bit. I yeah. think it just like sucks and all that moisture, I love yeah. it. There we go, it's a pretty shot of it. And the good thing about this recipe is it's, it is light, but it also can be hearty too. Yeah. Um, so we've got the orzo it cooking, is. and then we can, yeah. Am I rushing you? I'm sorry. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> so this is what? Salt. That's oregano and salt and pepper. So it's just uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of oregano, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and an eighth one eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. These are some Greek I flavors. Salad. I mean, this is kind of like a Greek salad. Am I right in saying that? Yeah, actually it's um, a Mediterranean type. Okay. So absolutely, it's a Greek salad and, it, and you can see we'll put some olives in there, yeah. um, some feta cheese. I love it. That kind of stuff to, to mix together. So. Well, while I'm doing this, why don't you tell us a little bit about Sunrise Children's Services? I know there's one here in Bowling Green on Lehman Avenue, you said, mm -hmm. um, but what, if someone just has not heard of you, can you tell us what you do, what your services are? Sunrise Children's Services has been around for over 140 years and mm -hmm. we help children who have been abused and neglected. Um, we have residential centers across the state, we have foster care offices across the state, we also have um, programs where we go into the family for family preservation and um, counseling programs and things like that to preserve the family. So we like to say we are from Paducah to Pikeville. I oh, mean, wow. We're all across Everywhere. the state and as you said we have an office right here, a foster care office right here in Bowling Green um, to help with um, recruiting foster parents to help the kids in this area who have been removed from their home due to abuse and neglect. And there's a significant, unfortunately, a significant number of children that are dealing with something like that, right? There are. In this area alone, there's over 800 kids that are in out-of-home care. Um, and then in 2009, in Warren County alone, there were over 1,400 kids uh, confirmed cases of abuse and neglect. So there is a very big need to mm -hmm. help these kids. And I was in a, a uh, meeting last night and one of the foster parents said, you know, at what point do you give up on a kid? And I thought that was really compelling to me yeah. because that's a, that's a good point. You know, we don't always think about this issue and that there are kids out there who were born into this. They weren't right. really asked. They didn't ask for it. They were just born into it and they have a significant need. So what was your answer? I mean, I'm assuming you said that we never give up on a child. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. And thank, thank goodness yeah. he doesn't either because he's one of our foster parents. Yes. So thank goodness that there are people out there who will step up and say, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna help out with this and I'm going to take care of these kids. Well, it's good to know that there's services like that out there and um, the website is is it sunrise children service or sunrise what is sunrise.org sunrise.org yeah. so if you want to be a part of that or help volunteer or even if you're interested in fostering anything like that just get on the website and you can find more information um, for now though we're going to kind of switch topics sorry we're yeah. going to stick this in the <laughs> oven for uh, 10 minutes 10 minutes or so broiler. and of course it's not going to take 10 minutes for us to come back but when we do we'll have it all fixed up for you and ready to go we'll be right back Here's our pretty piece of salmon that we have magically um, pulled out of the broiler after a few minutes. Doesn't it look 
pretty. It looks I very love pretty. it. Now, before we um, even season this, you, did you cut off the, uh, the, is it the flesh? Right, the skin the on skin. the bottom. Usually when you buy a piece of salmon this big, the skin's on the bottom. I personally like to cut off the skin and I just throw it away yeah. and then I broil it without the skin on it. Okay, that's good to know because sometimes I don't yeah. know what to do with it. Okay, so now we have our finished piece of fish. What mm -hmm. do we do now? Well, now we take our um, spinach. This is just regular spinach. Okay. It's about four cups and you just put it in the bowl. This is how easy it is. And then you take, you have four olives. Um, you just put those in the, oh, in the bowl. Than that. A half a cup of chopped red bell pepper, which I was interested to find out that red bell pepper has more vitamin C than an orange. Oh. I had no idea. Oh, well, I just found that out tidbit. recently. Yeah. So I'll put those in there. There you go. <laughs> I'll add two. And then I have a quarter a cup of green onions. Good and flavor just add right those. There. Okay. And then this is just, um, two tablespoons of feta cheese. Okay. So you put that in there and mix that up. And then we have some salmon that we have to cut up to add to it as well. So the salmon comes out of the oven like this and it's literally, you're just cutting it up. You're just making it into bite-sized bite pieces. Bite-sized pieces, yeah, okay. It's really that simple. It's not hard at all. And it's whatever you like. And, and you could also, if you wanted to, if you wanted to serve it like this and then maybe put a kind of a slice of the filet on there without cutting it up. You yeah, could do that too. Let if, your guests cut it up if yeah, that's what they want to do. that's what they want to do like instead of mixing it in. Um, and then at some, when do you put the orzo in there? After you're finished with the salmon, okay. you can just add the orzo right in there and then you just mix it up and then you'll put a little bit of lemon juice on there um, if that's what you prefer. I prefer lemon juice because it's a light salad. So the lemon juice, believe it or not, just brings out all the flavors. So you don't put dressing on it? No, nope. oh, I just put a okay. little bit of lemon juice that on there. That is really healthy. It is very I healthy. I like your style. And it's only 231 calories per serving. Wow. So and, and tons of protein because this fish right here. Is very healthy. Yes. It's very healthy fish. So it's a, And the spinach itself is healthy too. Yes, so it's yes, a really, yes. it's so quick. I mean, it's that easy to make and it's so quick and you just mix it all together, put your little lemon juice I love, on there. I love this recipe. Now I will say, if you're not a fan of fish, obviously you can do yeah. shrimp and chicken with yeah. this as always and yeah. you can also get creative this is one of those salads that if you have like a cucumber in your crisper I mean you could just yeah. pull that out chop it up and stick it in there yeah. I can't think of anything else maybe green pepper and stuff like that if you have it yeah and if you don't want to have to cook the salmon they do sell salmon in the can right you could even to make it even faster you could just take salmon in a can and put it right in the bowl yes and mix it right up I mean besides so. the fact it might be a little stinky in your cubicle <laughs> this would be a great <laughs> lunch idea so thank you so much this recipe is going to be on the IGA Meals and Minutes Facebook page. So don't forget to get on there and print it out. And you were fabulous. Thank I can you. I can see why you have a jacket of your own that says <laughs> chef. We need to send this lady to school so she can have her own show one day. Thank you so much. You Thank are welcome you. back here anytime. We hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you next Wednesday. Go to WBKO.com slash midday for IGA Crossroads locations.